Chrissy, thank you. So weight loss is a New Year's goal for pretty much everybody, right? <laughs> and when you eat, when you eat might be as important as what you eat. Dr. Sachin Panda with the Salk Institute is joining us this morning. Explain. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so first of all, let's explain this. Why is timing so important for weight loss? Yeah, our body doesn't work 24-7, as we might think, but um, starting, say, one or two hours after waking up, the body is really ready to digest that food, absorb all the nutrients, and control our glucose perfectly fine. And then, by the end of the day, three to four hours before we go to bed, our body is actually not that ready to digest <laughs> food or control glucose. So, if we can time when we eat, starting from maybe one or two hours after waking up, mm -hmm. and eat everything within eight to ten hours, and then go over overnight fasting, then during that fasting, a body will actually tap onto stored fat and burn that little bit of fat every single day and break down all the toxins that we accumulate throughout the day and repair our body. So that's why maintaining this eating fasting rhythm has a huge impact on weight loss and improving our physical, mental, emotional health. I'm fascinated by this. I feel like I've heard bits and pieces of this information yeah. over the years, but what got me right now is that you said your body is ready to digest food one to two hours after you wake up. Most of us seem to wake up and go right to the food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we not do yeah. that then or wait an hour or two? Yeah, so when we wake up, what happens is as we are dragging ourselves out of the bed, yeah. our genes, our our hormones and digestive yeah. juice, they take some time to actually wake up. <laughs> and that's why waiting for one or two hours actually helps to really prepare our body to digest. Is, is yes. this, I feel like I've heard, is this intermittent fasting? Yeah, this is ah, uh, also okay. popularly called intermittent fasting. We okay. started 10 years ago. Wow. We called it timeless eating, but in popular media, it's now intermittent fasting. In be between 8 to 10 hours, you're saying? Eight to ten means you can cheat one or two days, go up to <laughs> twelve. Um, oh and we actually have quite a few clinical studies in collaboration with uh, UC San Diego. Mm -hmm. And we are finding this pattern of eating and fasting benefits a lot of people. How, how do you get this information? Because I wanted to ask you what the research shows. And you, you address that a yeah. little bit. But how do you get past all the... You, you mentioned well what the popular media likes to call it one thing. How do you get past all the clutter and all the noise to get the proper information out to people? Because they're getting inundated mm -hmm. with this kind of information, that kind of information. How do you focus? I mean, you come in, Salk Institute, Dr. Panda, I listen to you. Yeah. Right? That's the source. How do you get that good information to people out there? Yes, at uh, Salk, on our website, we have a website called mycircadianclock.org. Oh. So uh, we also have an app called My Circadian Clock. Mm -hmm. It's Perfect. a research app, free for everybody, and we don't sell any information. So that way, people That's actually can get on and... So Chrissy Russo is obsessed with circadian rhythms and everything else. <laughs> Explain to people what that is in case maybe they don't know. Because we're obsessed with this because of our odd sleeping hours and yeah. our odd eating hours. So what, what is a circadian rhythm? So circadian uh, literally means 24 hours. So uh, just like we have calendars to go through our day, actually body already has a pre-planned calendar. Almost mm. every cell has a calendar of when it should wake up and mm. when it should do different tasks. So by timing when our genes, hormones, and brain chemicals turn on and off, our body is already pre-programmed to stay uh, healthy by digesting food at the right time, mm -hmm. by cranking up immune system to fight infections and to repair our heart, kidney, gut every single day. Mm -hmm. um, so in that way, we can actually reach our peak physical, emotional, and intellectual performance every single day and also every single hours of the day. Okay, <laughs> I know it is, it is fascinating because, okay, so you're talking about the circadian rhythm. So I understand, so the, our biological clock, essentially. Biological clock, And yeah. you're mm -hmm. saying, okay, so you're, you're hoping to do the eating between eight to 10 hours. Now, if, now he mentions we have a very different, yeah. you know, wake up yeah. time as yeah. opposed to someone who does the nine to six. Yeah. We have some producers who come in at 11 p.m. and they work till 8 a.m. So yeah. does this 24 hours, does it, I guess the eight to 10, is it, is it gonna matter if we have odd hours? Does that make sense, I guess? Yeah, so actually we can simplify it very 
Very simple. So try to go to bed around the same time every day if you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter whether you're going to bed at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. or midnight. Sure. Stay in bed for at least seven hours to get six, six oh, and a half hours of restorative sleep. Seven hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. Doctor, okay. I'm, I'm taking know. notes over here. <laughs> this is so good. And then after waking up, as I said, wait one or two hours before you consume that first calorie. But I understand that yeah. a, lot of you, a lot of us also have to drive in the morning. And it's better to drive with some black coffee than to be. Mm. So black coffee is okay. And then after good. your first meal, Eat for eight to ten hours, mm -hmm. and your last meal should be three to four hours before bedtime. And that's it. Dr. Panda, I could talk to you for hours. Yeah. This is, <laughs> I, find, I find this fascinating. Uh, thank you for, for coming yes, and kind of, thank you. I may have to call you and ask you more. Yeah. Thank you for the time. We thank you so much. All right.